Well, welcome back again. Sorry it's been a bit of a long while again. I've got here a little uh, Ferguson 8-track radio receiver come uh, amplifier. Um, quite a little versatile unit because it's got uh, an aux in and a tape in and the inevitable uh, two-pin DIN speakers because this is the um, European market we're talking about of course. The set was made in Japan and as it arrived here it was as dead as a dodo. The um, amplifier made the most peculiar noises sounded like it was down a sewer. Hmm. I know what you're thinking. Some people are saying, yeah, well, 8-tracks always did sound like that. Well, they can sound pretty decent if you get a nice machine. And this is very nicely built. But uh, one problem was that the FM radio part of it hadn't worked, according to its owner, for the better part of two years. And yes, it did need a few new capacitors. A lot of people think, oh, change all the capacitors out, that'll fix it. It isn't always so. So, uh, I spent a good deal of time looking at this and uh, eventually came up with something rather startling, shall I say. This trimmer little potentiometer thing there had actually fallen to bits. It's in two pieces and where the third part is, the part that you should put a screwdriver into and adjust, who could say? It's disappeared. So having uh, changed a few of the capacitors and got rid of a rather loud irritating hum it then dawned on me that the power supply for the FM chip on this comes via that. Now I've got no circuit diagram for this so all I could do was well guesstimate it really and so I fitted one from a scrapper but uh, the result is that uh, now this thing seems at any rate to be uh, working as it should. Many of us will be fans of the album that he made and with West are. African Maestro Ali Farpature back in 1994 that was called uh, Talking T uh, Timbuktu. And um, I wanted to ask him... It's got a very subtle backlight. You can just about make it out. It's green, which is rather nice. But we do have FM radio back. Um, we haven't got any distortion. The Dutch Golden Age, if it has a starting point. Guys, um, how does it feel when you... Masters, we need to go back a few years to the moment the King of Spain, a man born in Ghent in today's Belgium, decided... How odd is that? ...person, this whole soul. And there you are, FM Stereo is back to uh, working as it should do. Uh, let's try an 8 track. Uh, move it to uh, there.
tear you up. Instead of the usual uh, failure prone push two pieces of springy metal together switch, this actually has a proper micro switch in the mechanism which is engaged and uh, gives you a much more positive feel. And the 8-track mechanism itself is built like a tank. Uh, you'll very often find on later equipment that uh, this little item here, for example, is plastic. Um, when they crack, of course, you can imagine what happens. You can't ever secure the head properly again once that's occurred. And uh, yes, I've done various bodges in the past with uh, shrink sleeve and so on for people and uh, even managed to fabricate a new bit once, but <laughs> ah, so there we are, that's a little Ferguson back in full voice, uh, back when they used to make things quite nicely, um, before it just became a sort of, uh, well, it's a byword for crap now, isn't it, I'm afraid. Speaking of making bits and um, crap, we have here a rather stylish uh, Philips D8958 twin cassette CD player and uh, radio, huge. Uh, you can imagine how big this is with the speakers. Uh, there they are. <laughs> so uh, yes, and yes, you've guessed it, it's the usual thing, red Leicester cheese gears. Although it will play back and record quite happily, it won't rewind or fast forward and I know exactly what's happened to it. The gears they used on these Philips things, Lord knows why they did it, were made out of a very inferior grade of plastic, very very soft. I expect they did it probably for quiet running. They may have done it simply cynically just to say up yours, you've got to replace this after a few years. But, uh, yeah, you decide. But making a nice equipment like this and then spoiling it with something uh, as stupid as that. Uh, they really did want their asses kicking, didn't they? Anyway, they were part of Phoebus, I suppose. The planned obsolescence light bulb uh, conspiracy, for those of you who uh, have seen that. Ah, oh, yes. Make every little thing a little better and a little more desirable. And it's, uh, oh no, we can't get the parts for that, Gov. Oh no, Gov. They stopped making that five milliseconds ago, Gov. Well, you know the way it goes. Anyway, so... Uh, we might be seeing this back again. We might not, on the other hand. I won't hold out any promises, but uh, it's got the servo controlled tape mechanisms, which were really very nice. They even made one for a home computer like it, but uh, alas, that too suffered from the Red Leicester cheese gears. And uh, there's the casing for the little Ferguson. I've given it a coating of shellac varnish just to sort of brighten it up a bit. And, uh, ye olde Amstrad with its pop out record deck, which is still working very well. Uh, my little old RX C36 up there, I've uh, put a new mechanism in that so that it now has full automatic stop and uh, rather better speakers. And of course, old faithful, the N2400. Anyway, uh, see you again soon, and uh, I do say soon. Uh, might be putting a few things on eBay presently. Uh, if I do, it'll be uh, under Font Hill Electric, as you might expect. So uh, we will uh, see you anon. Bye for now, and take care.